Okay, Access Chapter 2, page 563. Okay, in this lesson we're going to be opening a, a, a pre-existing database. So let's go to Open Other Files. Let's go to Computer and let's go to wherever you stored your files. Let's go to Browse. Mine are under my hack folder. CI3. Access 2, Chapter 2, Student Data Files. And we're going to grab the first one here, uh, which says uh, a, A02A Instructors Courses. We're going to hit Open. And then we're going to save, we're going to file, save as, we're going to save, choose a location, save a database as, and hit save as. And then we're going to find a location here, let's go to documents, let's go down to homework. Let's create a new folder for our access, chapter 2, and hit open. Actually, let's change the name of it first. To Shodal. Hit save. Let's get rid of this name here. Now we're going to save it in here and hit save. Okay, then we're going to hit enable content. All right, let's go ahead and open both of our tables. Let's open the instructor's table and let's go ahead and open the schedule table, which will make sense to you in more than a moment as to why we're doing this. Okay, turn over to page um, 400, 564 and let's go to database tools. In this part, we're going to be creating a relationships which I'll explain to you in a moment. So go to Database Tools and go to Relationships and go ahead and double click both of these tables, these options here, which creates the table, the tables. All right, in this lesson we'll be actually creating a relationship between the two tables, two fields. It's referred to as a foreign key, okay? We talked about primary key, this is a foreign key. So we're gonna create a relationship between this option and this option. So what we would do is click on here and drag it down to Instructor ID and this box will pop up. Okay, you can see here it says the two different tables, the two different uh, fields. We're going to enforce referential integrity, and we're also going to select these two boxes. Uh, the book over on um, page 568 mentions what these two boxes do, but mostly they're just there for to make sure the information changes, which we'll look at later on. So go ahead and hit create, and now you can see we have a relationship. We have a relationship set up. If this is what's referred to as a one to many. For those of you guys who might recognize that symbol, it means infinity, a one to many, okay? Relationship, okay? Next thing we do is we want to create a relationship report. So let's go ahead and click on relationship report, okay? And this is just basically a report. Uh, we could make changes. We're going to go ahead and save this report with the, the default name and hit okay. Okay, let's go ahead and close this. And then we'll go ahead and close this. So you can see now that we can close this. And you can see that we now have our relationship report over here. Now, when you open the instructor's table, you'll see that each, ta each, each of the instructors is linked to an actual item, as you can see here. Okay. All right. Over on page 570, we're going to test the, ca test the cascade options, which we looked at earlier, which I mentioned to you. And basically what those do is they update the information. So in a moment, we're going to make a change. So we have the um, instructor ID open, field open. Let's go and find field um, uh, record number 1224567, which is the first one. We're going to change, we're going to go ahead and open this. And let's go ahead and change this to, as the book says, 8224567. Okay, we're going to close that. And then, and then let's go ahead and close this table. And let's go ahead and open the schedules table and let's go down and find 5113. It's a little bit lower. And you maximize that. You can see that the field has been changed. You can see how it, see how it does. now it matches here. That's because we, we, um, we set that option earlier. Excellent. Um, let's go ahead and open. Let's go ahead and close this, and let's go ahead and open back our, our instructor's table again. And we're going to find record number 6145288, which is right here. We're going to select the record, and we're going to hit delete record, which gets rid of the record. It's going to ask us, are you sure? Because once it's gone, it's gone. Now we go ahead and close this table, and we open our schedules table, and we go down. Let's go ahead and open the schedule.
table, get down to 42837, which is gone, and 42930, which is also gone. So the changes we made were reflected. Okay, next part of the lesson talks about sorting records. So let's go ahead, we're over on page 572. Go ahead and open the instructor's table. And let's go ahead and close the navigation pane. And you'll notice at the top here we have these options. You can see here, we have these little arrows. So let's go ahead and click on Department. And let's go ahead and sort A to Z. You can see how it happens. It automatically now sorts by department, okay? Um, and let's go ahead and remove the sort. The next part of the lesson actually talks about sorting multiple records. It talks about the concept of the inner and the outermost fields. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to last name and sort that last name um, A to Z. Okay, or you can go to the um, ascending, either way, either option. And then we're going to go to here and we're going to do this one Z to A. And you can see what happens here. It does, first of all, it does it by department and then with the department it does it by name so basically it's the outermost and the innermost that's how the way it, essentially the way it works outermost is first innermost is second okay let's go ahead and remove that sort and that's the way sorting works okay let's go to the file and let's go to print and print preview and we're going to adjust it to change it to landscape you can see how it does and that's something we did well, did in the last lesson as well all right let's go ahead and save that and let's close the print preview all right. Okay. Um, over on page 574, uh, creating a new qu a query with a, with a qu query design. Let's go ahead and close this, and let's go to the Create tab, and we're going to click on Query Design. And you can see this is the, this is the uh, the box we showed showed you earlier. We were using setting up relationships. Um, let's go ahead and let's select the instructors. So double click the instructors table and we're going to go ahead and close that. And we'll just go ahead and expand this so you can see all the different fields. All right, and what we do, we want to actually put the fields down here. Basically, the fields that we want to select, we're going to put down here. So let's go ahead and let's double click rank. And then let's double click on first name. And then let's double click on last name, office phone, and department. Okay. Now let's say you accidentally add a college email as well. That would not be a big deal. You select the field on your keyboard and hit delete. And that takes care of that. So these are the five fields that I want to have. Rank, first name, last name, office name, and department. Okay. All right. Now that I have my fields, we're over on page 576. I go ahead and run it. Okay. And this gives me, our, this gives me my query. Okay. I can go ahead and hit click here to change back to the design view, but that gives me my query. All right, let's go ahead and save this query. So let's click here to save, and we're going to save this, this query as last name, first name, to a instructor's query. All right, and then we hit OK, and then we look over here, you'll, you'll notice the query has the two, two pages here, and that's how you would create your query, a simple query, using the query design. All right, let's go ahead and close this. Um, the next part of the lesson, we're going to look at copy, how to copy a query. Um, this is something that the database administrators will, will do. They'll take a base query, and then we'll make some changes to it. So let's go ahead and select our query, and then we're going to right-click, and we're going to copy, and then we're going to right-click, and we're going to paste, and it's going to give us the opportunity to name it, and we're going to call this one last name, first name, to a instructor's ID query and we're going to hit OK. Alright, and you can see we have two separate queries over here. IDs and the regular one, regular the original query. Alright, let's go ahead and open the ID query and we're going to make some changes to this, this query. All right, let's go ahead and let's get rid of the office phone by selecting the office phone. Let's go back to this, this view. Let's go to here like this, and you select it, and then on your keyboard you hit delete. Okay. Then we're gonna we're gonna add instructor ID. 
and we're going to take this guy here select it like we did hold the tip of your mouse right here and we're going to drag over to the front okay we also want to take department and also drag it right here in the middle so we have instructor id department rank um, then we're going to take last name and we're going to put it right here so we're basically just moving as you can see i move it i can move it any place i want at this point okay so instructor id department rank last name and first name we go ahead and run it and that's our query all right let's go ahead and save this and let's go ahead and close that all right all right let's go back to our the next part of the lesson will be again cop copying a query so let's go ahead and copy this query again copy and then we're going to again paste it and we're going to call this one 2a department sort query okay and we're going to hit all right okay all right and let's go ahead and open our original query this query here the 2a department sort query and let's go ahead and close this and go back to the design view okay and this we're going to click on the last name and see where it says sort we're going to drop this that little box down and we're going to select ascending and then we're going to go ahead and run it you can see that it sorts by last name okay let's go ahead and save that and that's how you sort a query within the query design okay moving right along oh i'm sorry let's go back to the let's go back to this query again actually let's go back to here and let's go back to here uh let's change by first name let's go by so we're going to choose this as well we're going to choose this ascending and we're going to choose department descending and then we're going to run it again you can see it does by department now this does the inner, inner and outer department then by last name first name last name then by first name okay and that's how you would sort uh, within a query Okay, let's go ahead and close this query, and we're going to start go back to create a, a query from scratch. So we have to create, and we're going to hit Query Design, and we're going to select um, the instructor query, uh, the table, I'm sorry, again. And let's go ahead and expand this. We're going to choose three fields. We're going to choose Departments. We're going to choose Instructor ID, Rank. last name and first name okay and under id i'm sorry instructor under rank we're going to type in the word i'm sorry under department type in ist we're going to do last name ascending and then we're going to run it okay and you can see it gives you all queries uh, all um fee uh, records that have department the department is set for IST, okay? And that, so let's go back to, you can see here, we have IST typed in here. Now you'll notice the quotes around here. I actually didn't type the quotes. I just typed IST and hit tab. The, um, Access actually added the quotes, okay? And all right, let's go ahead and save this as 2A IST query. And hit okay. Okay, page 582, specifying criteria and hiding the field. Uh, let's go again to create, and let's create a new query again, query design. And in this query, we're going to choose the instructors table again. And we're going to close this. We're going to choose four fields, instructor ID, last name, first name, and rank. Under rank, we're going to type the word professor. We're going to sort last name ascending and then go ahead and run it you can see the, the field you can see the options we have but let's one let's make one little twist go back to the design view again uncheck this little box and essentially what will happen is when you run the, the when you run the query it will still uh calculate the, on the professor but it won't show it any longer so that's how you unshow uncheck uh, a query okay let's go ahead and save this 
as 2A professor query. And hit OK. You'll notice, by the way, the navigation panes can be quite full of items here as well. All right. Let's go ahead and create one more query over on page 583 using the null. Um, there'll be a number of, in, in, in access, there'll be a number of um, commands that you will use. Null is one of them. Um, we'll, we'll, the next lesson we'll look for quite a, quite a few more. So go to create and let's go to query design. This time we're going to use the schedule table. And let's go ahead and close that. We're going to use the following fields. We're going to add subject catalog number, section, course name, and credits. Okay, in this lesson we'll be looking for, we'll be creating a query, query that shows us all the classes we have that are no credits. Okay, um, let's sort subject ascending. Go ahead and sort um, I'm sorry, yeah, subject ascending, um, catalog number ascending, and section ascending. All these ascending. Under credits, type in the word null, N-U-L-L, -L, which is German for nothing, as I was told one time in class. Let's go ahead and run that, and it gives you a listing of all of the um, fields that have nothing in this field. So null, N-U-L-L, -L, okay? Uh, let's go ahead and save that as 2A, no credits, credits, query. All right. And that brings us to the end of Access Chapter 2A.